Keswick Bridge is a one kilometre long cable stayed bridge in Inverness, which crosses the Beaulieu Firth. It's a major structure carrying the A9, two lanes of traffic in each direction. The bridge was opened in 1982, so the gantry was approximately 40 years old and it was definitely coming to the end of its, its lifespan. There is some guidance that's uh, published by the Institute of Structural Engineers that recommends the gantry is considered for replacement around about the 35 year mark. So he was approached by our client, which is Bear Scotland, on behalf of Transport Scotland, which is the Scottish Government. There was a new underdeck gantry required. So it was originally commissioned by the client to do a full review from start to finish of the existing access provision. We was then appointed by the client to do an initial design phase. Took that from detailed design all the way through construction, installation, commissioning, and ultimately handover of the full gantry from start to finish. So one, one of the complications with the bridge specifically is it, it goes around a corner, which is called the, the super elevation. So as, as the bridge, not, not just in a typical straight line, it actually goes around the corner as well, which causes some issues when interfacing with the bridge particularly. The bridge is quite unusual for the underdeck gantry in that there's very limited room to fit it in. There's limited headroom above and there's also limited clearance room below. That's all a big challenge for the designers and also for us commissioning the gantry to make sure everything uh, does what it's meant to do. The gantry itself is, is a complex configuration of multidisciplinary. So our builders on site collaborate with our designers and we come through that full process. It's, it's part of the strengths that we have within the business that our designers are part of the same overall global team. So any of our constructors on site when we're doing commissioning activities, they can call the designers. It's that direct feedback between each other, asking the designers questions and the designers also asking questions of the site team as well, based on experience of other similar projects in other complex countries. It's one of the most complex projects that we've done in terms of the technicalities of the actual machine itself. It's, it's never been done before. We think it's one of the most complicated gantries in existence. The gantry is generally built up of two parts. You have a gantry bridge, which is the section that drives over and along the bridge, which is essentially rolling on the bridge structure, if you like. And suspended from that gantry bridge is the cradle where the occupants of the gantry are located. And the gantry has to self-level in both planes, so it corrects for roll, pitch and yaw. So what that means is it negotiates, it stays level whilst the gantry is going around the corner to maintain a level working platform and it also self-levels in the other plane as the gantry goes over the pitch of the bridge. The gantry itself is fully automatic so um, all the guys that are using it have to do is press the sort of forward joystick, back joystick, left, right joystick. The gantry uh, moves longitudinally along the bridge with four electric motors. Uh, the electricity is provided by the onboard generator. Uh, same for the cross travels to make the cradle go east to west. Each of the motors is approximately 1.5 kilowatts, which is about the same power as your kettle. It's a gear ratio of about 100 to 1, and that, that enables quite a low power to be able to move it along. The reason it makes a good Spencer job is it's a challenge. It's not run of the mill, it's unique. It's a unique set of circumstances with the design of the bridge and the design of the gantry. A lot of contractors may shy away from that. Maybe you want something a bit more traditional where they feel on safe ground. Spencers generally work on more risky projects. That's just, just our forte really. Yeah, our expertise really is in the difficulty and that's something that we really look for, particularly in bridges where it's a really high specification to meet. We've got very long design lifespans, they're in extremely harsh marine environments and that's something that we specialise in and we, we go out actively looking for. So the, the ultimate goal and what the client has received is a gantry that can provide them with hands-on access to all areas of their bridge, whether that's under the deck, up the sides of the main girders, utilising the scissor lift. It's a comprehensive access solution that allows the gantry operator and the bridge operator to maintain their structure for the next 50 years. Mm -hmm.